fellow Nigerians, it fills me with a great sense of enthusiasm and penchant humility to make this milestone declaration today. The today's paradigm shift in the struggle defines a lot of our collective responsibility towards nationhood. My name is Sugbala Okom. I am from Crossover State. I hail in a small village called Ukele, your local government area of Crossover State. People in my place live in abject poverty and total neglect. As farming is our only source of livelihood. This is also my story. And after listening to the diverse experiences and yearnings of the people across the globe and across Nigeria, I can categorically tell you that we all live in our similar stories across our different experiences as people. As a child who is guided by God's grace through time and journey, I have served in a few leadership capacity. At the end, I served as a leader in the Tinch Church. I served as a senior assistant prefect in secondary school. And I also served as a parliamentarian in my faculty legislative council. I head the appropriation unit. I'm currently serving as a president of the faculty. All of these experiences have equipped me through the process, and that's what has made me to take up this gauntlet of leadership. Now, I will go quickly to focus on my five-point agenda of when I become president, what I would do. The first one is nation building. Nation building is about building a collective sense of purpose, a collective sense of belonging. Country Nigeria, the country Nigeria, is a country and not a nation. What will I do as president? I will establish a national ambition that rises above the things that divide us. We will not speak as an Igbo man. We will not speak as a Yoruba man. We will speak as one Nigeria. This is my dream for Nigeria. And then secondly, my agenda too will become what? Restructuring the security architecture of Nigeria. We have seen so far that in our diverse experiences as people, security has become a man effort. What will I do? I will restructure that sector so that at least the lives and properties of Nigerians will be safe as the first primary responsibility of every government, which is meaning and intentional towards its people. The country today lives in a total sense of people don't go to sleep with their eyes closed. And that's because insecurity is so alarming. What will I do as president? I will modernize the security architecture and bring it to a professional management such that the security chiefs will come from all regions of the country, which from professionalism, which will be the first consideration. 3,000 men in the Nigerian police for a population of 300 million people, half of which are guiding the rich people. This is too few for us to survive with. So I will bring it to a structural program and then we'll make sure that people are safe and secure. Thirdly, I will restructure the constitution to return it back to true federalism. So that at least there will be equitable representation in all areas of our government. And I will also bring equity and justice to it also. And then fourthly, I will bring a philosophical economic approach, which will create job inclusiveness. What will I recommend? Capitalism. And I will go for that to recommend entrepreneurial capitalism, because it suits us and it suits our creativity as a country, where small-scale businesses and medium-scale businesses will contribute to the forming the aspect of our economic system. This is in the case of the United States of America also. And then finally, I will go to human capital development, which is I call education with purpose. Dr. Ngozi Okojo Iwela, the world leader trade in the World Trade Organization, noted that Nigerian universities equip its citizens with knowledge out of creativity and the skill required in their areas of study. This is what has led to the unemployment rate we have today around the globe. What will I do as a president? I will bring a reform to our educational sector such that innovations, ideas, and technological-based education will be encouraged. I will have data science, artificial intelligence, robotics, and machine learning included in our educational sector so that we can encourage people to live with creativity and then also encourage employability in the grand scheme of things. Fellow Nigerians, if you have stayed with me to this very moment, I want you to say the national anthem with me. Arise, O compatriot, Nigeria call obey, to serve our father's land with love and strength and faith. And may the labor of our heroes pass 
shall never be in vain. To serve with heart and might, one nation bound in freedom, peace and unity. Thank you very much. Remember to vote for me. Ubala Okom is the name. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you.